With the advent of social media, the fight for America has taken on another front. The meme game. You have thousands of leftist social media influencers pushing nonsense that never once gets fact-checked. You know, because the people running the biggest social media sites, except maybe for Elon Musk now, are on board with spreading any information that further forwards their ideology, no matter how ridiculous and untrue it is. Check out this example. Capitalism. A short story. So what are we supposed to take away from this picture? That in a merit-based society, the people on top get everything they want, and the people at the bottom get nothing? Maybe if they were business partners, and the guy enjoying the spoils of their success screwed his business partner. In that scenario, the two would have invested their own time and energy into achieving their goal. But they would have also signed a contract stating what they each get from the profits of their endeavor. So if the guy on top screwed the other guy over, a lawsuit would be filed and the guy on bottom would be made whole. But that's not the situation this meme is trying to portray. The guy on bottom is a worker and the guy on top is a rich business owner. But here's the part that's missing from this depiction. The guy on bottom isn't working for free. The guy on top would have hired him and they would have agreed to the amount of compensation he was willing to work for. Because ultimately, the business owner is taking all of the risk. I mean, what if the fruit had been spoiled? The worker would have been compensated for his work, but the business owner would have gotten nothing. In fact, if the fruit had been spoiled, the guy on top would have taken a loss while the guy on bottom would have made money. What's more, there is nothing stopping the guy on bottom from taking the same risks his employer did. He could spend his time finding the next opportunity, studying how to best achieve success, and invest in equipment and labor to help him complete his mission. You see, when it comes to capitalism, the people who are rewarded the most are the people who are taking the most risk. But they also suffer the greatest losses. The sad part is that we live in a capitalist system that's been hijacked by those in political power. There's a lot of crony capitalism going on, which is actually a lot more like socialism than capitalism. Elected officials and their friends are getting rich, a lot like what happens in Venezuela since Hugo Chavez was the president. Let me give you an example. I'm sure most of y'all remember the news about healthcare.gov, the official government health insurance marketplace website that was created due to Obamacare. It had a lot of problems, and it cost a lot of money. Do you know how much money it ended up costing us? A year after the website launched, the conservative estimate was just over $2 billion. That's billions with a B. Now imagine a private business looking to create a website and they hire a company to do it for the price of $94 million, which was the original estimate for healthcare.gov. Whoever made that decision would have been fired immediately in the private sector. I mean, $94 million for a website? But then it doesn't even work properly, so they have to hire other companies to fix all the problems. And after it's all said and done and all the receipts come in, it totals $2.1 billion. You can't imagine that happening in the private sector because it never would. Some people who are politically connected got rich because of Obamacare. Not to mention that the average family did not end up saving $2,500 a year like we were promised. Nor did 90% of the people who wanted to keep the insurance coverage they had get to keep it. The truth is, health insurance companies made huge profits because of Obamacare. Just look at Molina Health stock, for example. Look where the price was from 2003 through 2013. It doubled in price. The major parts of Obamacare started being implemented in 2014. Now look at the stock price from 2014 through today. That's a huge increase, and it was the same for Cigna and Anthem as well. Obamacare made those companies rich by forcing all of us to buy new health insurance plans they were forced to create. Capitalism is actually quite the opposite of what this picture depicts. In a capitalist system, the guy on top could never force the guy on bottom to work for him. This picture is a better illustration of what slavery or socialism looks like with the latter being what the creator of this meme is undoubtedly advocating for with his false depiction of capitalism. What this picture actually depicts is two friends who devised a plan to get a piece of fruit off of a tree, and one of those friends is a crappy person. In no way, shape, or form does it depict anything that resembles something close to capitalism. And that's 
the simple truth. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And if you all want to support this channel, check out the links in the description and let's keep putting some common sense back into the great debate.